When playing TF2, have you ever paid any attention to the reflections? For example, have you ever looked at this railing on Turbine, or the icicles on Snowy Coast? What about the subtle shine on your scattergun, or the scope on your sniper rifle? It turns out that the reflections on all of these items are affected by these things called cube maps, which, without going into too much detail, are these little balls placed throughout TF2 maps that each take six pictures arranged in a cube formation. They are used to simulate reflections on the surfaces of various things including props and weapon models. If you equip the Rap Assassin as Scout and move around while looking at the bobble, you can clearly see the simulated reflections from the nearest cube map. Now, to my surprise, some maps like Gold Rush, for instance, have little to no cube maps at all, which is a great shame because if you take a shiny item like the Gerardi and compare its cube map version to its non-cube map version, the difference is night and day. 